Hey you guys, Matt Allen here. Welcome back to Tactical Bass. And last week we were doing the buyer's guide on swim baits. And one of the baits we threw in right there at the end was the bull shad swim bait. Wouldn't you know it, fast forward a week out here on Dale Hollow in Kentucky. And last night I get to meet this guy, Mr. Mike Buka, owner of the bull shad swim baits. Thrown his baits for years, never met the man. He drove out here, here we are on a boat. Did not see that one coming. So since we've got him, We've got the audience. I want you guys to meet Mike, hear a little bit about what he's about, what the baits are about, and most importantly, he's going to show you how to fish them. Because if you remember, we were talking about fishing them in a very unique way. And why should I be talking about it when this guy's the guy that figured it out? Let's hear what he has to say. Sure. Hey guys, Matt, thanks for inviting me down here. I really appreciate it. I'm really excited to be here. Um, a little bit of backstory on this is Several years ago, I took Jared out fishing, and he came down to Georgia, and I took him to my, my, some of my lakes and stuff, and we fished, and we fished a lot of bullshads, we fished a lot of god baits, we fished a lot of everything. And the one thing we did is, I, I was running the trolling motor, and I was showing him how I do things. Mm -hmm. And he made the comment that he was surprised that we're fishing so shallow and so fast. And I knew I fished shallow, I knew I fished different than a lot of other people, but I just assumed everybody kind of fit. If they were catching them, they were doing things the right way. Right. So the number one question I get is, how do you fish the bait? And on that trip, we caught upper 20s uh, and five fish. So, and uh, he told me you were struggling a little bit of catching mm -hmm. them. I said, you know, not every bait, every bait has a favorite way of working it. Some work better than others. And so that's what I'm gonna talk about. And even last week, last year in iCast, I ran into a very, very heavy hitter that runs, uses my baits a lot. He doesn't talk about them, and I won't mention his name, but he said, Mike, even if I told them, they wouldn't know how to fish the bait. That's right. And I said, I knew exactly what he was talking about. So I'm gonna teach you. I'm gonna tell you what I do and how I do it. Now, by no means, this is the only way to do it. There are several ways to catch fish. They catch sure. fish every way, but it seems to be a little bit better the way that I fish them. Yeah. Um, like I said, I'm different. I fish my baits extremely fast. And I also run the trolling motor very fast. What I've learned over the years is watching bait fish on the surface, how they react when they're being chased. And they do what they call streaking. And when they streak, they have that V up on the top. When they're mm -hmm. streaking like that, that means they're being chased. Right. And that's what I do with my bait a lot, is I reel it up top and I keep it up top and I keep it going. Okay. And I just keep it, I, really, I don't necessarily reel it fast, I just keep it up to where I can see it. Sometimes I V it, sometimes I might make it six inches under the water. It just depends on what's going on and how the fish are reacting to it. Sure. But I reel it extremely uh, up close, up high in the, in the water column. It also allows the bait, the, the bass to trap it on the surface. Mm -hmm. the, the bait fish can go up, but it's gotta come back down. Right. So it'll just kinda like a V, a funnel. And, uh, but that's the biggest thing that I do. And if you know a lot about my, my clientele, I'm very, very heavy in with the kayak guys. Mm -hmm. There's only one way to fish it when you're in a river, when they're fast going, you have to keep it moving. And that's right. why they are su so successful is because they have to fish it the way that it's supposed to be fished. Right. Um, now this doesn't mean you can't fish it slow. You can fish it slow. In the winter time, absolutely. You need to fish it a little slower. Yeah. The fish are a little more lethargic. Um, but you just need to adjust. But usually, spring through fall is, is my prime time from when I'm throwing it. Okay. You know, other times I use the faster sink and you just need to keep it down in the water column so they're less apt to chase. But, sure. uh, but that's the biggest thing is, remember when I'm, when I'm running this trolling motor, I'm on high. Yeah. 100% of the time, I really don't let off the trolling motor. I'm covering a lot of areas. The one thing you realize with swim bait fishing is, the number one first cast you make to an area is always the most important. Yeah. And so that's the main thing is I take advantage of that, I cover extreme amount of water, hit the sweet spots and move. And I call it the run and shoot offense. It just keep hitting until you find the <laughs> until you find the fish. Yeah. You know. Then you can you could do slow and methodical. That works too. Um, I'm always the kind of guy that they're busting over there in the corner. And I'll never get to them if I'm fishing slow and methodical. Trying it. So there's two trains of thought to that. Nothing, there's not a wrong way or a right way. It's just right. whatever works for you. And what you're, you work, you always fish your strengths. Right. And that is my strength is power fishing. So. Okay. Okay. Well, let's uh, let's see you throw these baits. Sure. Let's, let's take um, a look at it. Basically, 
And this, this is a six inch bone, slow sink. Um, I fish my seven inch, my eight inch, my nine inch, 11 inch, the same exact way. Okay. Um, I'm just throwing it out. Usually I'm trying to make as long a cast as possible so that if I do get flowers, I give them a little bit more tam time to, uh, to, 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 to hit the bait. If they want to look at it, they get time to look at it. But if you start them getting them by the boat, they're going to see you and they're going to spook. So the biggest thing is make you a long cast and just keep it up on top. And you can see it being up on top. Just keep it going. Maybe stop it, twitch it, burn it. Just keep it going and just move it. Just keep it moving and always put your polarized glasses on and always be looking at your bait, looking for flowers. Um, a lot of times what you do, if you'll see a flower and they don't hit it, you might want to do is come back, make a note of where it was, come from a different angle and try to spook them that way. Mm -hmm. And I, that, that works a lot of times. But the biggest thing, just keep it out of the grass, of course, but uh, the biggest thing is to make those long casts, accurate casts, and the angles are everything. That's the number one thing that I learned that I did not know before I got into swim baits is, especially with big fish on pressured water, they're used to seeing baits every day, every day at the same angle, the same baits, hit them from a different something different. I could give you a hundred stories where that's made a big difference and stuff. So that's the biggest thing is doesn't matter the bait size. I always try to reel it kind of fast, spring, summer, fall. There are times when slower works. Okay. So. Guys, straight from the man, <laughs> uh, take it to the bank. The baits work. It works in all the different sizes. It's unique. It's a different way of fishing a big bait. Nine times out of 10, when guys talk about big baits, they're talking about crawling bottom, going exactly. slow, waiting for that fish to just come up and analyze and eat it. He's telling you the exact opposite and it's working all over the country. Uh, you need to think about that. You know, there's more than one way to do things exactly and, right. it's, and it's working. It's not a guessing game. You've been doing it for years. Exactly. Think about that. We hope you guys enjoyed that. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. We'll talk to you soon.